This is Harold's last letter uh, home to his sister. And he's saying, my nerves are beginning to get tired of watchful waiting. This letter was written by Harold Freeman, December 31st, 1916, as he waited in England to join the 46th Battalion and join the fighting. Reverend Cortland Freeman and his wife Ida came out and were Methodist missionaries in Skidigat, where their son Harold, one of six children, was born. Harold signed up late in the war, wrote a few letters back to his, his sister saying how nervous he was, and then one month after the last letter to his sister, he was killed in the assault on Vimy Ridge. His mother Ida was so grief-stricken that she refused the mother's cross and the documents that came from the federal government about the death of her son. She wouldn't answer the door. Eventually, those things did come to the family, but they never really knew how he died until somebody wrote them from London, England and said they saw an ad in a newspaper about a watch of a Canadian soldier and the initials were the same initials. Using the soldier's serial numbers, he confirmed that although other people had asked for the watch, their numbers matched the numbers on the watch that he had and he was very honored to be returning it. He was a runner at Vimy Ridge and because he saw a watch ticking on a dead body, removed it put it on and ran when the, there was a break in the fighting and always was trying to find the family to return the watch. The watch came back to British Columbia and was returned to the family. And here is the letter where they're put in touch with the person who took the watch off their son's body. I can just say that your son was lying quite natural. He did not seem to be shattered and I think he had been killed by a bullet. And that in itself would be Comforting. Comforting. Yeah. Now, Harold Freeman's story and the watch that gave his mother comfort and closure are safely preserved at the Royal BC Museum. For a lot of these families, there was no resolution in grief until many of them made the pilgrimage in 1936 to the opening of the Vimy Memorial, which features a figure of a mourning mother.